Hello, friends. I'm so glad to see you again today. Thanks for joining me as we open egg number 10 and 11, the light blue egg and the pink one. First, let's review all of the eggs that have come before. On day one, there was a donkey to remind us that Jesus rode a donkey into the city of Jerusalem. Next, there were three coins to remind us that Judas betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. Third, there was a cup to remind us of the cup that Jesus shared with his disciples at the Last Supper. Then, we had some praying hands to remind us that Jesus prayed in the garden before he was taken prisoner. Next, we have a whip. It reminds us that Jesus was whipped by the men who hated him, even though he hadn't done anything wrong. After that, we have a rooster that reminds us about Peter's denial of Jesus. Then there was a crown of thorns that reminds us that Jesus suffered for our sins, even though he hadn't sinned. Next, we had three nails in the shape of a cross. They remind us that Jesus loves us so much that he was willing to die for us. Last, there was a spear. It helps us to remember that Jesus died for everyone, no matter what they have done. Let's begin today's lesson. After Jesus died, a man named Joseph asked if he could bury him. This was a brave and loving thing for Joseph to do. Remember that the men who killed Jesus did not believe that he was the Son of God. But Joseph did believe, and he wanted Jesus to have a proper burial. Joseph knew that this might get him in trouble with the soldiers. But he was brave and asked for permission anyway. Joseph wrapped the body of Jesus in cloth and buried him in a tomb cut out of rock, like a shallow cave. Joseph then went away sad, because Jesus was dead, and he wondered what would happen next. It's time to open the light blue egg. What do you think is inside? Here we go. It's a piece of cloth. It reminds us how brave and kind Joseph was when he asked to bury Jesus. After Joseph put Jesus in the tomb, a huge stone was rolled in front of the opening. It was as big as a door and probably weighed more than a car. After Jesus was buried and the stone was rolled into place, special soldiers were assigned to stand guard at the tomb. But these men were no match for God's angel. Tune in on Sunday to find out just how powerful that angel was. Let's open the pink egg. I wonder if it is... Yes, it is. It's a stone. It reminds us of God's power over life and death. Here are the verses for today. Joseph took the body, wrapped it in a clean linen cloth, and placed it in his own new tomb that he had cut out of the rock. He rolled a big stone in front of the entrance to the tomb and went away. Matthew 27, 59-60 I hope to see you on Sunday to hear the end of this story.